Welcome to GC Wired, the source for student news at Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding community. I'm Samuel Lercy. And I'm Jackie Bostic. It's almost time to say goodbye to the spring semester, and for some of us who plan on taking a few summer or fall classes, it's time to start registering. Summer registration starts April 9th, and you can register online or at the Panama City Campus Admissions Office. The fall registration will kickstart a new online program that Gulf Coast State College has been working to implement for the past two years. It's called Lighthouse. Lighthouse will replace the OASIS program that has been used for a number of years now, and it is thought to be more user-friendly. To learn about the new navigation program, go to gulfcoast.edu slash lighthouse and test the new system for yourself. I personally can't wait to try out the new system. Neither can I, because that OASIS program, oh. got to get it out the window. Some Gulf Coast students put on a mask and dressed up for the Empowered Masquerade Ball held Friday, March 30th. This was the first ball hosted by Empowered with plenty of dancing and food. Event organizer Tabitha York called it a unique event for broad students together. Cannot wait to see all the different masks and all the different outfits that show up and come out tonight. We're actually having a best dressed and best mask, as well as the cutest couple and overall king and queen of the ball. Um, the winners of these will be given uh, tickets to the grant courtesy of student government. While the last Saturday in March canceled a number of local events, it did not stop members of the student government from hosting a cleanup day at Gulf Coast State College. While they could not do a number of cleaning projects outside, it did not stop them from giving the SGA office a well-needed paint job. Student government members worked all day to paint the room with a fresh coat. Members say that the project was very much needed. No word on when they will reschedule the cleanup campus for another day. Discover many cultures without needing a passport. For the second year, Gulf Coast State College Multicultural Committee will be hosting an international festival on Friday, April 13th from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. The event will include an array of cultures from around the world, and there will be plenty of variety of music and, of course, plenty of unique food. Entry to the event is free with a nominal fee for food and vendors. Gulf Coast State College Student Government will be hosting its last drive-in movie night for the semester on April 19th, starting at 6.30 p.m. near the softball field. The movies being featured for the night is Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and a timeless classic, The Goonies. The event is free to all GCSE students with their student ID and any kids under 12. General admission is $3. And while we're talking about pirates and ships, the student government will be hosting once again another spring luau at Shipwreck Island Water Park on Saturday, April 21st, 2012, starting at 11 a.m., going through till 5 p.m. Last year, almost 4,000 students and their guests took part in the rides, food, contests, entertainment, and the ever-so-classic opportunity to get wet. Of course, this event is free to students and one guest, but you must bring your Gulf Coast State College ID to be able to enter the park. We'll have more next week as GC Wired News will be at Shipwreck along with the student government during their weekly meeting. Gulf Coast State College's American Medical Student Association will host a food drive Friday, April 13th. GC Wired Lauren Anderson spoke with Samantha Rodia from the AMSA group to find out more about this food drive. And I am here with Samantha Rodia, the marketing manager of AMSA, the American Medical Student Association. So what exactly is AMSA all about? <laughs> um, we, the group here um, at Gulf Coast, we um, encourage medically based students to pursue their dreams into helping other people. Um, we are known for helping with events around the school and the community. Okay, so what kind of events have your club done in the past? Um, actually, just recently we have uh, did a blood drive and that went really well and I just wanted to thank everyone who came out and donated blood. We did good and I, we appreciate it. All right, so, so your organization is actually having an event coming up pretty soon mm -hmm. and it's the food drive? Yes, um, we are partnering with the SGA um, on Friday, the April 13th from 12 to 8 p.m. at the Walmart in Lenhaven, we're going to be um, having a food drive for the local rescue mission. So, we're excited. Any organizations, or you said, mentioned organizations coming, or mm -hmm. what kind of organizations? Um, we're going to have uh, the Lenhaven Fire Department come oh, out sorry. from 12 to 1 p.m. and the Marines from 2 to 3 p.m. Okay. And if people are interested in coming by and donating food, what kind of food do they need to bring? Um, Non-perishable food items such as canned goods and box dinners. And what exactly got AMSA into 
the food drive in the first place? What, what made you guys come up with this idea? Um, when we were sitting at the beginning of the semester, we were thinking of you know, different ideas. And we started talking about all the people who really need help in Bay County. And the local rescue mission, they work day in and day out to help them. And we figured, you know, we, you know, we can help out also. So we're going to donate all our food to the rescue mission. All right, that sounds awesome. And thank you for coming by. Not a problem. Thank you for having me. Coming up next, We'll have more information about where the Easter Bunny will be this weekend. And other events going on around campus, such as everyone's favorite musical, Annie. Stay tuned. Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCYnews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community. GCYnews.com. Alright guys, we need to think of an idea for a promo for Spike Suit Productions. Does anyone have any ideas? Right. Support Lord. promoting spring I have break. An idea. What is your idea? Um, well, why don't we have a scene that takes place on a beautiful mountain with little rabbits jumping around and we start getting hungry so we take machetes and we and we start stopping the rabbits and blood just starts pouring down the mountain and and it forms around this little village and everyone's screaming in pain and sorrow for the blood that's <laughs> 2012 will mark the fifth year that Spike Suit Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post-video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major, and whether or not you prefer to be on camera or behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123, we're next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com. Welcome back to GC Wired. I'm Jackie Bostick. And I'm Samuel Lercy. It's a Broadway musical that many of us remember with songs from childhood like Tomorrow and It's a Hard Knock Life. Annie the Musical will be performed for two weekends starting Friday and Saturday, April 13th and 14th, 
at 7.30 with a matinee on Sunday, April 15th at 2.30. Tickets can be purchased at the, the night of the event, or you can purchase a ticket online by going to gulfcoast.edu forward slash arts. Then click on the link to brownpapertickets.com and make your purchase. General admission is $10 for adults and $5 for children under 18. Gulf Coast State College, you can get in for free with your ID. For students interested in any of the theater scholarships, there is an upcoming audition for April 17th at 4 p.m. in the black box of the Miller Tapper Center. Students must be majoring in theater, either in acting or technical, or technical to apply. If you would like more information, you can call the Visual Performing Arts at 872-3886. There are a number of high schools in our area who are performing a number of plays and musicals that you should check out. Thirteen is often a bad number for some teenagers, and it's a year of sheer awkwardness. Arnold High School Drama Department will present the musical Thirteen. A story about a young man moving from New York City to a small town in Indiana who tries very hard to fit in while dealing with turning 13. The performance is set for Friday and Saturday, April 6th and 7th at 7.30 at the Arnold High School Auditorium. The cost is free to enter, but a monetary dona donation would be greatly appreciated. Rutherford High School presents MAME, a comedy set in the Great Depression and deals with the eccentric and unconventional MAME Dennis. Mame's carefree lifestyle gets interrupted when her nephew arrives to live with her. They cope through the depression in a variety of adventures that are romantic and tragic. The performances are set for Friday, April 13th and April 14th at 6.30 p.m. at the Rutherford High School Auditorium. The performance is free and open to the public, but a suggested donation of $5 will be greatly appreciated. With this being Easter weekend, let's check out some hopping good events for the community. An Easter egg hunt for pets and kids at Panama City Beach newest park, the Conservation Park, just off Highway 79, kicks off at 9 a.m. with a number of doggone animal-friendly events. Frank Brown Park in Panama City will also host its Easter egg hunt at 10 a.m. Kids 10 and under are encouraged to attend. Pier Park will host its largest Easter egg hunt this Saturday starting at noon, right next to the Miracle Strip. Moving into town where Millville Community Alliance will be hosting its first Easter egg hunt and movie night starting at 5 p.m. at Kid Harris Park, 229 College Avenue. That's a look at some of the events going on around Panama City for this weekend, and that will also wrap up our news show for this week. Next week, our new show will move to Shipwreck Island Water Park for a sneak peek at this year's Spring Luau. And also, the student government will be there conducting one of their regular meetings. Special thanks to Crew of Rats for supporting Spike Soup GC Wired production team. We appreciate your support. Remember to like us on Facebook page at GC Wired News and also check us online at GCWiredNews.com. For GC Wired, I'm Samuel Lercy. And I'm Jackie Bostic. Thanks for watching. April is Autism Awareness Month. Become aware. And of course, happy Easter. Have a great week. Spike Soup Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College regardless of your major and whether or not you prefer to be on camera behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123 or next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com.
covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCYNews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community. GCYNews.com. I gotta stop doing this paper. Hello everyone, today I'm here with Larry Thomas, the Vice President of National Society of Leadership and Success here at Gulf Coast, and Ms. Barbara Smiley, the Guidance Counselor at Bay High. We're here to talk about your organization, Streetlight. What exactly, exactly is your organization about? Um, Streetlights is an organization that we developed to bring awareness to homeless teens within our district, or well, at Bay High School, but within our district. Um, we met with counselors from Anchorage to get information about the homeless um, situation, and we've been doing activities to bring the awareness to the homeless situation that we have here in our district. And we've been raising money um, to purchase things for our homeless teens, such as book bags filled with shampoo and blankets and things like that that they would need. Um, Christmas gifts, we purchased all of them, at least one gift for Christmas and some of their siblings. Um, and then also right now we're working with community people on prom dresses since prom is coming up. And when we talk about homeless teens, it's not just teens that are on the street. It's teens that are living from house to house or their families are living from house to house. And within our district, there's over a thousand homeless kids that are registered. And at Bay High School, we have 54 that are registered as homeless teens. So any help that we can get from the community is always appreciated and that's where Mr. Thomas comes in. He called me one day and said that they would be interested in doing a fundraiser to help with homeless teens within our district. So we were gracious and very happy that they decided to do this event, which he'll tell you more about um, that's coming up. Uh, the way that we came into it is we read an article in the newspaper that was written about the Street Lights program and the work that they were doing over there with homeless teens. We decided that would be a great venue for our community service event for this semester. So we contacted Ms. Smiley and asked them could we host a fundraiser. Um, we've put together a fundraiser. The fundraiser is going to be a car wash at Advanced Audi Parts on Tunnel Parkway and Highway 22. It's Saturday, April 14th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And members of their organization, members of, of our organization will be out there to wash cars and raise some money for homeless teens. So ever since you started your organization, what has been the response for the community? Um, the community has been very gracious. For instance, around Christmas time, um, we had a group of women that offered to help buy the Christmas gifts, and they did that also. And then we also had another group of women that wanted to buy gifts for an entire family, and they gave each child $200 to go Christmas shopping. Um, and then we also had um, a doctor from the Brain and Spine Center that wanted to put three to four families up during the holidays in a hotel, and then Kay Hall's Deli was going to provide Christmas dinner for them. So that's been very, very good. And then we have a group of women that has been working with us to get prom dresses for all the homeless teens that want to go to prom. Um, and with our, one of our fundraisers was called um, Cardboard Clips. And the donations that we got from students, they could get a $3 haircut cut or pedicure uh, or manicure. And Step Ahead Cosmetology School provided services to do that free of charge during that whole process. All the money went towards helping to buy the things for the care packages that we did for the students in the winter. And it's been great, though, awareness, especially with the peers. And we did a big rally out in our courtyard one day, and the peers were the teenagers were able to come up and write messages to homeless teens and they was like hang in there have faith in God I'm here for you so it was neat I don't think the teenagers realized how many homeless teens are out there and that it could be the person sitting next to them in their classrooms so it was neat to see the kids giving them encouraging words on a board and we went through like four or five different boards of messages mm -hmm. so it wow. was neat. If someone would perhaps like to volunteer or just get more information about uh, NSLS or um, street lights they, how could they contact you? Um, I can be reached at Bay High School, um, area code 850-767-4626. Okay, and for N NSLS? Um, if anyone's interested in joining National Society of Leadership and Success here at Gulf Coast, um, please contact uh, Ms. Glenda Woods in the TRIO office, or you can email me personally at larry.thomas27 at yahoo.com. Okay, thank you very much for coming out.
For GC Wired, I'm Lauren Anderson. Will the sun come out tomorrow? Probably. You know what else is? Annie the Musical. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Tiffany Fraioli and I play Miss Hannigan in Annie. And it's based on the 1930s uh, comic strip. Mm -hmm. And it's basically uh, a musical based around this little orphan Annie who is looking for her parents and trying to find her home. and. During that time, uh, she is taken in by Daddy Warbucks, actually starts off as Mr. Warbucks, and he takes her in and um, just as, a, as more of a publicity, to get good publicity out of it, thinking, well, this will be a good thing, and he ends up um, really falling in love with her as, as a daughter and a child and uh, wants to adopt her, and um, some evil people come in during the plot to try and stop that and get some of his money and I'm one of those people. <laughs> ah, so why don't you tell us about this little part. Are you the antagonist in this show? Yes, yes, uh. I'm one of the bad people. This show. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I, I play Miss Hannigan, um, the lady that runs the orphanage and has basically been overseeing Annie and several of the children in the orphanage and she's not a happy lady. She drinks a lot and she's... Oh. Very, very, very angry and very mean. Doesn't really like children, which I think is funny because she runs an orphanage. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, I, I do play one of the antagonists in the show. Sounds like a very interesting character. You're not gonna. They don't make you drink on stage, do you? No, no, I uh, no. Actually, it's water. It would be a lot of fun, but there's too many rules <laughs> against it. So I just, I just uh, chug down some water from my flask. Okay. So it's, it's a fun show. Oh, and how do you like dealing with ch children? You're not like your character in the show, are you? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. I, dealing with the kids are great. They've been uh, very professional, uh, eager. Um, they, they're having a great time, which is kind of uh, catches fire with the rest of the cast, which makes everybody else want to have a good time. So they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Lines and, everybody else up. Yeah. Yeah, they do, and, and they kind of step up the game because they're, they are so good and they're so professional about everything. Um, the uh, the adults are actually competing with the children. <laughs> Who's winning? Who's winning? Uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's equal at this point. Uh, we'll have to wait till the show yeah, to be the to, judge for themselves. You'll have to wait and see, but yeah, no, everybody, everybody in the cast is great. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a great casting crew, so um, I've been real, real tickled to be a part of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if we wanted to come and be tickled by this show too, where would we go and what times? You could go to our website at www.gulfcoast.edu slash arts. And on that page is a link to our ticket service, which is brown paper tickets. And you can click on that link and purchase tickets for children, for adults, um, staff and faculty and students can also reserve tickets, but they do need to keep in mind uh, if you reserve a ticket under uh, student or faculty tickets, uh, they need to show up at the box office with their identification. Because yeah. if, they, if they do not have that identification, we'll charge them a general admission fee. Yeah, and so how much is the general admission fee, in case we forget our general admission of fee, ed, General admission fee for adults is $10, and children is 5 Okay. So it's, I think it's pretty decent That's price. a good price for a musical. It is. It yeah. really is. It's, it's a really good uh, price for shows. Yeah. And are you guys going to be doing this in the black box, like the Big Goodbye or the Amelia Center? No, this is a little too big. Uh, we're <laughs> doing it in the Amelia Center. And um, great big proscenium theater. It seats up to 508 people. But I would strongly recommend that people go ahead and get their reservations out there because um, there's just something about this show. Yeah, it's a very famous and popular show. Yeah, it's a very popular show, and we've had such great feedback on it. But we've been having churches and elementary schools and, and just several institutions that are booking several, several seats at a time. So um, I would recommend anybody that's interested in seeing it, go, go ahead and get your tickets reserved. Brownpapertickets.com. Brownpapertickets.com. They're great. Now, what are the dates for this show? How far ahead is this? Um, it opens on April the 13th, um, our first night, which is at 7.30, and it's going to run through April, April 22nd. That last performance will be at 2.30 p.m. If they go to the website, they'll also get the dates and times. Okay, yeah, so Friday and Saturday, 7.30. Friday, Saturday, 7.30, and, and Sunday at 2.30. 2.30 for matinees. For matinees, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And I got one more question for you. Okay, I'm ready. Big question. Okay. If this show was a cupcake, what kind would it be? Probably strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, Annie's but, red hair. Yeah, Annie's red hair, but f coming from Miss Hannigan's strawberry daiquiri, <laughs> most likely. So that's my <laughs> that's my answer on on what kind of cupcake. It okay, would be. so a kid and adult answer, yes. just like for the show. Yes, yes, absolutely, and it's for all ages. It's a great, great show. It's for kids and adults. Okay. Well, we can't wait to see it here. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're looking and forward to. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come see Annie the Musical. Last show for the Visual and Performing Arts Center. Thank you. Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCYNews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community. GCYNews.com. I am here with Samantha Rodia, the marketing manager of AMSA, the American Medical Student Association. So what exactly is AMSA all about? <laughs> um, we, the group here um, at Gulf Coast, we um, encourage medically based students to pursue their dreams into helping other people. Um, we are known for helping with events around the school and the community. Okay, so what kind of events have your club done in the past? Um, actually, just recently we have uh, did a blood drive, and that went really well. And I just wanted to thank everyone who came out and donated blood. We did good, and I, we appreciate it. All right, so, so your organization is actually having an event coming up pretty soon, mm -hmm. and it's the food drive? Yes. Um, we are partnering with the SGA um, on Friday, the April 13th, from 12 to 8 p.m. at the Walmart in Lunhaven. We're going to be um, having a food drive for the local rescue mission. We're excited. Any organiz or you said mentioned organizations coming or mm -hmm. what kind of organizations? Um, we're going to have uh, the Lone Haven Fire Department come oh, out right. from 12 to 1 p.m. and the Marines from 2 to 3 p.m. Okay. And if people are interested in coming by and donating food, what kind of food do they need to bring? Um, Non-perishable food items such as canned goods and box dinners. And what exactly got AMSA into the food drive in the first place. What what made you guys come up with this idea? Um, when we were sitting at the beginning of the semester, we were thinking of you know different ideas, and we started talking about all the people who really need help in Bay County and the local rescue mission. They work day in and day out to help them, and we figured you know we you know we can help out also. So we're going to donate all our food to the rescue mission. All right, that sounds awesome, and thank you for coming by. Not a problem. Thank you for having me. 2012 will mark the fifth year that Spike Soup Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post-video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major, and whether or not you prefer to be on camera behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123, or next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com.